book. You guys are riding off a pretty nice week away. Just call it the redemption tour. What did that feel like? And I guess what is the state of the team right now? Well, I thought we played really well, especially in both second halves on the road. And obviously to go and win on the road to teams that you lost to at your place is, you know, I it always feels great. You know, I was really proud of our team for finding ways to win both games, um, you know, and especially come back from deficits in the second half and just stick together and be really, really tough and find a way to win on the road. I guess it just speaks to this team sticking to it throughout the season because you guys have suffered some tough defeats, but that never, wait, I guess you guys never wavered in those moments still. I guess how proud are you of the group at this point? I just appreciate how much they've committed to continuing to learn. You know, we've had to learn some really tough lessons, and sometimes um, if you end up winning those games, maybe you don't learn those lessons as tough as it is to lose them but we've been right there and been really competitive just haven't been able to step up and take games and you know last week we were able to really lock down and do what we needed to do when we really needed it the most and so I think you know our team has started to mature and gel um, I think our rotation has gotten consistent and I think right now too we, we're really playing with like nine starters you know we can sub and go to our bench and we really don't drop off in certain combinations when we include our bench you know against different matchups we're even better than when we started the game so I, I just really Really proud of the way that they bought into their roles and trying to do what they can do really well night in and night out. You spoke to that depth uh, in your time here. Have you had this deep of a team where you can say, I think I have like nine starters? On this team? Well, our first year, I would say we probably had eight starters. That was a great rotation. You know, we had a great group of seniors and we had two guards off the bench um, for most of the year. And then we really went to one guard, but we always had kind of, you know, two posts that we could go to off the bench. So that was a really great team to rotate. And I think this team is similar in that, having those numbers. When it comes to closing out games earlier in the season, find yourself on the wrong end, and now you're finding these last two times out, it's been a positive result. Hey, can you point to one or two things that you've done late in games this last week and be like, this is why we yeah. came out on top this time? Well, we were better defensively this past week, you know, and the week before we had gotten better defensively, and I think our team is starting to understand how to help each other and play team defense and not leave it up to someone trying to get a stop on their own. Um, I thought we've rebounded late in games defensively much better than we did earlier in the season, um, and there's still things we can get better at. We're still fouling too much and giving away free points at the line, and I think if we can clamp down on that, maybe you can separate yourselves a little bit more at the, at the end of games. And then in the San Jose State game, you know, our last two possessions on offense, we couldn't have executed any better. Um, the team got exactly the shot that they should have. They worked the shot clock down. You know, the last shot we took that Amani made, there was two seconds on the shot clock. And we probably had two good shots before then, and they didn't shoot them, and they ended up getting a great shot. And I'm really proud of them for that because we've been preaching that all year. Well, if you wanted those ones back against Air Force and, and San Jose State, you certainly want the one back against the Rebels. Uh, this is the way you want to go into this one, though, I guess. What's your emphasis until tip-off? You know, just we got to continue to get better, especially at the things that hurt us at their place. And the things that hurt us at their place are the things I feel like we have started to get better at, which is t playing better team defense, trying to really do a better job defensively rebounding. They killed us on the offensive glass at their place, and they're, it's really a big strength of their team. And we have to really lock down on trying to keep them off the glass and trying to make things tough for them. Um, and, and if we don't, I think it's going to be hard. They also pressure defensively, and we turn the ball over way too much at their place. And we did that last week a little bit too much. And I know in this game, it's something we need to start off strong and early in the game. We can't give away possessions. We can't give away free points. We need to go out and really take care of the ball um, and try to keep them off the glass. Coach, what are some of the biggest challenges you see into facing a team for the second time around the season? It's such a short window in conference play. You know, I think um, you kind of know each other pretty well. Um, but at the same time, teams just continue to get better and better. Um, and for us, like, we've, like I said, I think we've continued to um, – develop our rotation and have a good feel of how we want to play and our team understands that even better than we did the first time we played down at UNLV. Um, but for them, they're playing extreme, extremely well. You know, they had a kind of a tough non-conference. They've done great in the Mountain West. They're currently in third. Um, and they've done a good job of closing out close games. You know, they've won some tough games. They beat Colorado State last week and they were down late in the game. They found a way to win. So they're a team, they understand how to win. They have a couple great senior players. Um, so I think it'll just be a fun battle. A close game. How do you, how do you approach this one? Um, honestly, we've been hungry. We lost by a buzzer beater. Um, I've been hungry. It was in my hometown, so um, we're pretty excited to get back out there, and especially for a rivalry game. We know we're going to have a lot of people out, considering we beat San Jose, the number two seed in our conference. It's never an easy thing to win back-to-back -back road games, but that's what you girls have just done this last week out. This school really, I don't think, has done it since 13-14, right around that season. Uh, what does it mean to you that you can put together efforts like that back-to-back -back games away from here? Um, one of our goals this season was just to be able to complete a game, especially on the road. We've been struggling to play on the road to complete an actual game. We'll either play behind in the first half or play up in the first half and 
we end up not closing the game out. So being able to complete two games in a week of travel without coming back in between, it's like great for us. And it's definitely given us a confidence boost. And how big is that confidence boost? Because earlier in the season, you know, several times out, you had close games and you just end up, you know, like to UNLV losing on a buzzer beater and this time out. Uh, what have you noticed lately in late in those last two games to where you could be like, okay, this is why we came out on the right side this time out? Honestly, I feel like some of us surprised ourselves. Like, we didn't know that we could actually do it, and we ended up doing it anyways. We just put every little detail together that we could to win the game. We did have mistakes, but we made up for it either on the offensive end or on the defensive end. And once we put it together, I mean, we closed out the game. So it's been surprising for both uh, for the whole team and the coaching staff. When your coach was up here, she was speaking to y'all. How nice is it to have a, or play with a team to where you could have, you know, one through ten just come out and just ball out no matter when they're playing? Um, knowing that you're going to go in the game for like two, a two-minute to three-minute span and you just have to pour out everything you got and you're going to have a sub in to come in and do the same thing, if not more, it feels good. Like you just know you can empty out and you don't have to like save anything. What does it mean to see that the, the hard work is paying off and the sticking to the process, so to speak, is paying off uh, on the floor now? Um, even though it's pretty late in the season, um, we're glad we got to see it, uh, especially the tournament's approaching. So, like I said, it's just going to give us a confidence boost and we're glad that all them conditionings and running's paying off right now. So um, we're excited. Well, it's the thing. You're playing well at the right time because these are the games that really, really matter down the stretch. And I just wonder what the, the confidence level is of this group and how much fun you're having. But also try not to get too too excited on your accomplishments thus far. Oh, yeah. We're still locking in. Um, honestly, after that San Jose win and the Air Force win on the road, we kind of want to put it under our belt and focus on UNLV. Like, we have to focus on the next, next task. It was a big one for us, but we celebrated it already, and we have to move on. How frustrating was that loss down there, especially as a hometown kid? But just uh, to know it's the, uh, the Rebels, the team you hadn't beat, they haven't beaten there in a while. You guys haven't, uh, and now you get a chance to get them. Honestly, losing by a buzzer beater is frustrating in general, especially a, a jump shot. It wasn't a layup, it was a jump shot. So we've been hanging on to that, and it was frustrating in my hometown, especially my parents there. But, I mean, I can't hang on to it. We're just going to feed off of it and play them and look forward to playing them on Wednesday. Bonnie, this last week, yeah, back to back row win, something that this program hasn't done, I believe, in conference since like 2013, 2014. What does it mean to you that it wasn't just one good effort you put out and came out on top away from here, but it was two in a row? Um, I would say that, like, it's obviously it's a great accomplishment for us and the team and the program itself. Um, and I think that, like, it was well deserved. We put in a lot of work and it was just tr starting to trickle and come together slowly. So I think that it was really good, but at the same time, it's a win's a win, and we're happy for it, but we got to keep moving forward and keep seeing what we can go from there. Several times earlier in the season in close games, come out on the other end, and this time come out on the positive end. Well, can you point to any differences that you noticed in these last two games to where it was the way it was? Um, obviously, like, no matter how, we always play hard. But, like, you could just see the fire in everybody's eyes. Like, we don't, we're not losing this game. We're going to give it all got all we got no matter what and you could just tell like nobody no matter how many mistakes we made we just kept trying to come out on top and kept fighting just to the buzzer end. I wonder how much that focus carries over and maybe you know multiplies knowing who's here in a couple days and just the emphasis <laughs> you guys have on getting that one right. Um, obviously that's there's no need to even say names but uh, like it's definitely something we're looking at right now we're most less focusing on what we need to do and how what we did last game like good last game and focusing on doing that this game and what we need to fix from last game and making it better for this game yeah hard not to look at just what the opponent was but yeah. losing on a buzzer beater like that is so tough I just wonder the emphasis you have from that game into this one what you need to do better um, we just need to make sure we're guarding the ball next make sure we know the per personnel who's doing what and what they want to do and don't let them do it you had touched on just kind of seeing the hard work paying off. I wonder if it was hard in times to be like, is this going to come back around? And in essence, kind of said, yeah, it's kind of late in the season. But hey, it's here, you know, better late than never. Right? Exactly. Better late than never. I mean, like every team, every program has their own way of doing things. Everybody's shining or they're not shining and they're having their ups and downs. Like I said, uh, I was talking to one of my teammates. It's like this conference is for anybody, honestly, because there's games that people are winning that sh you wouldn't expect to win. And you're just always shocked. So, I mean, like, just focusing on like what you, your individual team and what you need to do at this point is what's going to get us to where we want to be. Did it just take several weeks to kind of figure out how to close games out? Just keep playing to that last buzzer? Yeah, I get. I, I guess you can say that that it took it took us a little while longer than most to figure it out, but it's finally here. So that's what we're going to keep moving forward. Your coach spoke to just the amount of depth you have on this team, uh, like. 
she said there's like nine starters on this team. Uh, what does it mean to be, a, be on a team like that to where it's not just up to you know, like two or three girls to shoulder the load, but it, lots of people can put it in? It shows a lot. Like we don't have to worry, depend on certain people to do certain things. Like, you know, if you come out and you're, you're saying you're having a good game, that your teammate's going to go in there and do the same thing for you. We don't have to worry about um, like fall off, I guess you could say. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs>